The illegal migrant crisis continues. Priti Patel has offered over 50 million pounds to the French authorities to help with this. They're not helping, so the Home Office have said that we're not going to give you that money. Macron's government are kicking off, and you know why. The elections are coming up. France don't really want the migrants to stay in France, so I'm now going to start calling them France's migrants. Not French migrants, not refugees. These are France's migrants. These are the people who are coming from a safe place from France. Now, uh, Priti Patel and the Home Office have come up with this new policy. They've told the border force uh, to use jet skis to force the dinghies and the illegal boats to go back to France. Again, the French authorities are not too happy about this situation. So there's a massive clash. And yesterday, we again, once again, we had over 160, 180 people um, crossing the channel and entering uh, the UK's border. <clears throat> now, this... <clears throat> Exercise. We have the footage from uh, Sky News. I'm going to show you in case you haven't seen it. Just watch this for a few seconds. So. These are the videos, they, they were doing a lot of exercises yesterday at the border force to try to train themselves to use uh, jet skis, to force the dinghies to change direction. And now this massive clash is now going to continue to escalate because the French elections are coming up. Macron and now we have Michel Barnier. They're all becoming pseudo-nationalists who suddenly care about France's borders and migration. They also want to shut down migration in general into the European Union. Uh, so France is now the new Eurosceptic nation, um, although, <laughs> although this is coming from the left-wing leaders, uh, or the liberal leaders, let's just call them, uh, because uh, Michel Barnier is going to stand as a Republican, and uh, Macron keeps saying that he's not a lefty, so let's just call them liberals, the, the elitist metropolitans who are running France from Paris. Uh, these are the people who are now trying to get the votes who might go to uh, Le Pen, and they're trying to stop that. Now, the issue now we have is that Priti Patel is going to continue to face challenges. We have an upcoming reshuffle in Boris Johnson's cabinet. So while Macron has his election, Priti Patel also needs to keep her job or get promoted. If she wants to become prime minister, this is her last chance to sort out this problem or that's it. People have lost patience. People have lost trust and faith. So this is the last point that uh, Priti Patel has to address. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting because with everything that's been um, going on uh, regarding the migrant boat crisis and uh, generally speaking migration uh, inside the European Union and across the, uh, Europe as a continent, uh, with what happened in Afghanistan, the fall of Afghanistan, that's not going to help the situation because uh, whilst the UK government and these governments have said that we're going to welcome everybody from Afghanistan and that's it, just say you're a refugee from Afghanistan, will let you in. That's a new problem. There will be a lot of others from different places who are going to pretend to be from Afghanistan. We also heard the other day that a lot of people are pretending to be young. They pretend to be children. But in reality, they're over 18. It's because it's a lot easier for them to just pretend and lie, just like how a lot of them who are coming on the boat, saying they're from Afghanistan, saying they're refugees, but in reality, they just don't want to stay in France because it's France. So <laughs> this is the biggest issue that uh, everyone's facing right now. And Priti Patel, this is your last chance. Macron, might just be about fine with his election, but uh, Priti Patel's cabinet job is more at risk. I do want to say a massive thank you to every single person who's uh, now from here that have joined us on their new channel, the new website, mytc.co.uk. It's all because of you guys that we can continue telling the truth and talking about the things that the mainstream media are not talking about. So if you want to support the channel and counter the complacency of the mainstream media, go to mytc.co.uk, check out the website and see what we're going to do with it.